I mean, LED reader. Found one here. This one, the same one I got. And there's a lot of them out there. You can just check. That's why I download the software. Some do have it, some don't. Where you can download the software, but this this one here, got, you can download the software for this. So it's right here. You download it. So I click on it, download it. Now wait till it downloads. The same controller that I have for the LEDs, but they use different types of lights. They got uh, the one I'm using is. The WS2801. That's the chip. Number of the chip set that it uses. There's a bunch of different ones. But you check in the size and it tells you what chip set you can control. See the one I have is right here. They have it here, so that means this controller can control my lights. But some do, some don't. So you have to check the manual. You download the manual, tell you which chip driver you can, you know, which chip you can drive. So mine is right here. <laughs> so you just check around which light set you're using. That's the model of the TE1000S, and over here showing you which all the chips you can drive. That's the one I'm using. So. <coughs> now you have to format the SD card. You have to format it as fat. It tells you. Most every place you go on the internet, they'll tell you that you have to format. They might come formatted. Like mine's the one I ordered came formatted already, with some samples in it. I don't know about some other sites. Am I sending you a blank card? But the one I ordered came with some samples. Just remember, you gotta format it as fat. The SD card. The same one. You got the buttons there to go fast, you know, speed up and slow down. And the mode and set. You press the mode and you hit set, you know, to change. From different files in the SD card because you're going to hold up to I think I think it's 16 different files it goes from 0 0 to 16 I mean to me 17 because you start for 0 0 <coughs> no I downloaded the software now I'm going to open it up it's on a zip file so I'm just going to open it up and unzip it and just run it from the desktop it does have an install program but you can run it from there <laughs> so you got the install but I run it from there can't go there DXC here. Click on that, open up. Chinese or English? Of course, English. Okay. Now you gotta set it up for what type of lights you're using, the LEDs. So, let me fix this over here. Now you go, to, you go to files. You go to new project. Now you look for, like I said before, there's a, there's a lot of different types of uh, LEDs you can control. You just gotta find the one with the number you're using. You gotta compare it. So I'm gonna look for my WS. 2801 <laughs> Okay Here we 
windows. There's a lot of different ones here, okay. It says it there. The T-1000S, you can see it on there in blue. Okay, you click on that, and that changes up on top here. Now I gotta click the mode. I mean the mod. <laughs> now frame rate, 30 frame. You get your RGB, BGR, GEB, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever it's setting you want to do. Now to save it, you have to make a save file. So what I did, I made one in desktop. So I do, I hit the uh, LED. I'm just going to go to my desktop. And then you hit OK. Now we have to set for the way you hook up the wiring on the light. Which way is coming from the signal and how many lights you got vertical and horizontal my horizontal is 32 across and mine is 10 down vertical up and down so I gotta change this to 32 by 10 now where is inputting from from the uh, Top left or top right or bottom left, bottom right. So you gotta pick which way you hooked up your wires coming in to the lights. Where does it start from? The input. Take his mind starts from I'm looking at it from the right side going to left and right. So I gotta set it up that way. But there's different ways. Depends how you hook up your wires, like I said. You can either run it up or down. You'll see it in the pictures as you click each one. So I'm going to put it the way I, I use mine. Once you set that, you hit OK. And it tells you how many lights total. You know, 32 times 10, so it's going to be 120, um, 320. Let me show you a sample of the lights set up. Mm -hmm. Just fixing it here, you can see it better. Whoops, too close. Now those are your pixels at each LED light. Okay, now you have samples here of designs of colors. You click on them. You press stop. There's different types you can just check. See which one you want. You can use these. There's just some samples in there. You hit that. Oh, you want to put text? You can write text on there. You see a text, and now another one to pop up. I gotta adjust the the font size because it's too big for my LEDs. So I have to change it to 8 because it's small. Hit OK. There are a bunch of different fonts, but some of them don't look right up with the LED lights. So you gotta pick the right one to make it look to make it look good. Okay, you can play with it, you know. Turn this on, turn this off, and see how it looks. Oh. 
but keep on repeating. You know, you type down on the bottom. Whatever you want. And those bars going across on the middle edge to adjust the speed. Yeah, I just put one, two, three, four, five, six. See? Okay. Hit quit, and then it goes away. I gotta show you how to record it. Okay, go back to the uh, sample uh, colors. Get the text. Now I want to do is record it. Now when I record, it's the record button. You gotta play. Whatever you're playing now, it's gonna get recorded. Now I see this box here is numbers. I'm gonna start popping up from one to thousands. So the more you record the numbers keep going up so say you record these like you record text now you hit I'm gonna hit uh, record and you're gonna see the numbers go up in the little box see it's going up now what this does is just saves it I'm gonna hit stop now number stop it 280. Now I'm going to stop the text. I'm going to quit the text. Now, but it's still in there. The text is still in there. Now I'll put a little design, video effect. Now when I do this and I hit record, it continues recording from the fonts see the number continues so now I'm gonna have the fonts of the words you know and that when that's finished and it's gonna stop at the number I think it was 20 then the colors gonna come out the effects see now this one stopped at 500 and now the other one started at 500 so so when you play it back it's gonna play it back the same way you recorded it. Now you gotta save it. Let's see. You record this again, continue with the numbers. See? So I put like three different designs and the text. So the first one was the text and three different designs, and that's all gonna to stay together. Now what I'm going to do next is save it. Another way to save it. See this little, looks like a little SD card. Little blue square, square here. Little blue square. Looks like an SD card. You click it. Now the numbers is from where you record it. It's going to go to desktop. That's why I saved it the, in the beginning. I see this number here. 0016. That's each file of whatever design you make or whatever you save is going to, you have to change that to 001 or 002 because if you don't, it'll override the other one. If you keep it on 00, it'll just keep on overriding the other designs or the save you put. So you have to change that. You only go do it to 16. You hit OK. Now, let me close this and show you the folder where the file went to. 
it says LED that's where it is CC00-1 now that's the one that I just did don't forget you gotta put 02 you know I mean 01, 02, 03 cause now you gotta keep overriding you got into 16 different ones and you just take that and copy it and paste it into the SD card and just plug it right into the uh, the controller and that should be it when you turn it on you see it the first one's gonna pop up and then you want to change it you hit mode you press the button mode and it'll change and that's how much you know that I'm still learning on this so that's how much I know so far there's some more stuff here that you can do but I don't know yet so when I figure it out I get it alright thanks for watching